And on to the economy, Korea's exports posted their biggest decline in six years last month, shattering hopes that the country would react its uh, annual trade, but reach rather its annual trade target of one trillion dollars. Kwon so has the details. It's the 10th straight monthly decline and the worst so far this year. Korea's trade ministry said Sunday what used to be the country's main growth engine, exports, came to 43.5 billion U.S. dollars in October, plunging by 15.8 percent from the same month a year ago. That's the biggest fall in six years since an almost 21 percent on-year plunge in August 2009, right after the global financial crisis. Meanwhile, the country's trade surplus continued a 45-month streak, with imports falling even more than exports, with imports posting a 16.6 percent on-year decline last month. What's notable, though, is that the gap between the growth in exports and imports has narrowed. There was negative growth in almost all sectors except for mobile communication devices exports, which soared by 42 percent. Especially affected by continuing low global oil prices were petroleum and petrochemical product shipments, which fell more than 41 and 21 percent from the previous year. Cars, ships and steel weren't spared either. Given that the economic conditions outside of the country are bad, it will be difficult to bring about any effect from measures to revitalize Korea's exports in the fourth quarter of the year, which is expected to continue the trend of negative growth. That's why most experts see it as almost impossible for the country to reach its annual trade target of one trillion U.S. dollars, a mark Korea had hit for four years running. According to an official at the trade ministry, the forecast for November looks a little better than October, with improvements in the shipbuilding sector due to an uptick in orders. Kwon Soa, Arirang News.